Hi there, welcome to QA box let's test and this video we are going to learn how can we modularize our code like we do in the real project and how can then we export and import those modules so that we can accomplish what is expected from the project. So in this app.js you could see we have add and subtract functions then we have got this class person. Now, if I want to modularize this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two functions out from this file and put these functions in a separate file. So I've named that file as calc.js and I'm going to cut these from here and going to paste the same in this file. Great. Same way, I'm going to cut this class person from here and going to paste in a separate file reason being this class person and the calculation operations are two different entities and hence we have to create separate modules for these functionalities now why did i call module when i'm pasting these things into a file so basically in node.js module is just a file or folder that contains the code. So the folder example would be something like this. So I have the sample folder and inside that I have this index.js and a package.json. So let us understand what are the steps involved into building a real time project. So we first modularize are functionalities then we have to export whatever functionality that we want to export from a module that way is we have the control on what functionality we want to export then once the export is done we are going to import those functionalities so for example i still want to execute these lines of code in my app.js so I have to import the calc and the person modules into app.js. So let's understand the concept of exporting and importing. So export can be done with the help of module.exports and import could be done with the help of require function. So let us understand. So we have this function with the name some name and all I'm doing in here is I'm logging to the console the keyword arguments. So when I do so on the node environment, let's see what are we going to get back. So this is in the concept.js. So we know how to execute this node concept.js and let's execute that. So now when we do so, Look what we get back. We get an object back. These are the keys 0, 1, 2, and so on. And each key has a respective value. So this one will be assigned to this key. 2 is assigned to this key, and so on. So let us understand how this argument thing will help us in understanding the export and import concepts in Node.js. So let us move on to our calc.js file and what happens in Node.js is so before these functions are executed Node.js will wrap these functions inside a function which is hidden from us. So before executing these functions, these functions would be wrapped inside that hidden function. And what does that hidden function has for us? Let us see that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same console.log arguments in calc.js and let us run this. So when we do so, we get five things back. At zero, we get an object. So that is our export object. So I can say the first argument of this hidden function is exports. Second argument is 
is function require so require is a function so i can say require the third one is the object module so it has got all these different properties and one such property is exports and the first one is also export so this is just the shorthand for module dot exports okay so i can say module the next one in the list is this is the file name so i can say double underscore file name you might have used that in your projects already and this one last one is the directory name so double underscore dir name so this is how things work behind the scene so now to export this we can either use this exports or we can use module dot export so let us do the module dot exports first let me comment this out and we are going to say module dot exports and i can decide okay or i have to export only this add function so this subtract function will not be available outside this file only the functions within this file can access this so i'm going to say add so now let me write this line after this statement and run the code again and if we see module dot exports this is now a function and no longer the object so now if i have to import this in the app.js file i have to use the require function and i have to provide in the path of the module so calc.js is in the same directory so i'm going to say dot forward slash and then i'm going to do calc see i'm not using dot js we can use js as well and this way also it will work now this is a function and it is going to return us the module or you can say whatever that is being exported from that module and we have exported the function because we saw that module dot export was pointing to a function so let us save that in here in a variable so let's give it the name add it is not mandatory that you give this the same name because in here we have used this word add so if you want you can say add fn as well and that too would work so if i now say add fn and let me just comment these out save this and now we have to run node app.js let us run this and what do we get back the sum is 5 but what about this so what happens is like i mentioned so when you do the require what node.js is going to do it is going to wrap that function inside that hidden function before executing it so that thing is executed and hence this console.log statement is also executed so let us comment this out and execute this again and now we only see is the sum is 5 so that's the first way of exporting what are the other ways through which we can do this so we can also say let us comment this out we can also say module.export and now if we want to send the object instead of the function so we have to add the key and now again the key name could be anything okay but i'm using add in here so now if i uncomment console.log and run calc.js let us see what are we going to get back so in the module dot exports now you see this is an object which has a got key add and which is pointing to that function that we have exported and here also you could see that we have the same object because this is just the shorthand okay so now since we are exporting the object what do we have to do in here 
So we come here and now this is going to be an object because this is going to return the module.export and now that is an object. So this represents object in JavaScript. So now do control space and you would see whatever is being exported. Okay, so now this ad is exported and I can use this ad now. Okay, that is one way of doing it. Let us execute this. And we get the same result back. Now, this is kind of destructuring what is introduced into latest JavaScript. What you can also do is you can accept the whole object. So you can say calc. And then what you can say is calc dot add. Okay. And if you run this, you again get the same result back. So choice is yours. In, if you don't want to do it like this, because tomorrow, you may decide to also export the sub. So let's say you want to do it like this. So you're going to say subtract. Let's save this. And if you go in here, so if you want to execute this function as well, you have to do calc dot subtract again. So now let us run this. And we are going to get the sum is 5, the difference is minus 1. If you use destructuring, so what you can do is you can say add and subtract. And that way is you don't need to use this calc anymore. Let us save this, run this again. Great. So we get the same result back. Awesome. Now, let us understand. One more thing in here. Instead of doing it like this, what you can also do is let us comment this out and we can say module dot exports and then we can create the object like this and we can say add, add, subtract, colon, subtract. So this is how you can do it. And let us execute this again. So you get the same result back. Now, in the latest JavaScript, what you can do is if the key and value are same, you can remove the key part. So let us remove this, save these again, run the code again, and get the same result back. Great. Do we have more ways? Yes, they are. So what we can do is we said exports is just the shorthand of module.exports. So can we say exports.add is equal to the function which accepts these two values and fat arrow. And then we can say return a plus b. Okay, so let us do this and let us comment this out. So we have written the function here itself. And if I do console.log argument, let us see what are we going to get back. So we don't need to cram anything. If we understand this simple concept, we can work with that. So again, now this is an object which has got the property add. So if we go here, app.js, comment this subtract out because we are only exporting the add this time. Let us run this code. So we get the same result back. The sum is 5. So now let's work on the person class. So what can we do here? So let us export this class first. So now we know how can we do that. So I'm going to use the simple version module.exports. And I'm going to send the object with the key person. Okay, I come to app.js and let us uncomment these. So now we require this person constructor. So, so now this is going to return us that object. So let us save that const and 
again create the empty object first place your cursor inside it do the control space and you're going to get this back okay so now let us run this okay great so we get john's name is john and john's age is 32 so both of both of these things are printed all right so now let's talk about the folder thing so let's understand the folder structure first so we have the folder sample inside that we have index.js which has got this function div which is doing the division simple then we are exporting it using this syntax which we have already covered this folder has a package.json and in the main you could see the entry point so the entry point for this package sample is a package so entry point of this package is index.js now if you have to work on this method means you want to import this method and that folder has got package.json see how are you going to do that so we are going to say require and dot forward slash we are going to get sample and now I'm not going to provide the name of this file. So let us do const and this is going to return us this object which has got a property div. So again, I'm going to place a blank object first, put the cursor inside that, control space, div. Okay, so if you see this hint means node is able to resolve this properly and this has happened because when you have a package.json file it will have this entry so node is smart enough to read the package.json and say okay hey i know that you are going to work on index.json so now let us execute the division function and we are going to say the division outcome is and we have to say div so let us save that and execute this again. And we, what we get back is this, which means everything is working. Now you understand that before exporting this function, it is going to be wrapped inside the hidden function, which has got those five arguments. And using those arguments, it is going to export and import other modules from within your project now one last thing before we move on so as we know that node has some inbuilt modules so how are we going to use those modules so let's see those as well so we're going to say require and here in let's say i want to use fs so this is all you have to do you don't have to provide the path of this so again the other part is simple so you're going to create a variable and you're going to load whatever is being returned by this function on this variable and once you do so you have got access to all the methods available within that module so i hope you liked it thank you so much